my pleasure to welcome you all at Egypt's house in Ottawa to celebrate this very special and unique occasion. We are gathering today to witness the handover and repatriation of a valuable artifact from Egypt's cultural heritage. A bronze cat, as you can see, symbolizing goddess Bastet of Lower Egypt, an artifact that belongs to the Ptolemic period, which is around 323 till 330 BCE, which blended Egyptian with Greek art. In Bastet's honor, mummified cats, sometimes in impressive bronze like the one we have today, or wooden containers, were donated at the temples, of which the most important were located at Bubastis and the Saqqara areas, as you have seen recently in the uh, documentary. While art and culture are two pillars on which all societies build both identity and sense of community, one cannot deny the fact that Egypt's heritage has proved to be of special value to all humanity. It is in this spirit that I commend the Canadian authorities and express my profound appreciation to Heritage Canada, to the Canada Border Service Agency, and to Global Affairs for their cooperation in returning this valuable piece that was attempted to be smuggled into the Canadian territory. This is indeed another manifestation of Egypt and Canada's commitment to fight illicit trade in cultural property a crime that deprives people of their history and cultural heritage, and the practical implementation to the UNESCO 1970 Convention. Strengthening the technical and vocational skills of young women and men in Aswan to help to enter the job market. This ensures that the youth of Egypt will have the skills to succeed as entrepreneurs and in other areas open to future opportunities. In addition, I'd like to recognize our country's efforts to counter regional tensions in the Middle East and North Africa, and your efforts to find lasting solutions to the challenges of that region. We know that, ex that your experience and dedication to achieving progress in this area will be an important part of your work in succeeding Canada at the head of the United Nations Peace Building Commission. We look forward to working with you in this capacity and to strengthening our efforts to address and prevent conflicts worldwide. As you can see from just a few examples, Canada and Egypt enjoy a solid friendship. The return of the goddess Bastet today is but a small testament to our friendship that will no doubt continue to grow. I'm honored to share in this occasion with my colleagues from Heritage Canada, and we are very pleased to be able to send a statuette home.